Welcome to the session. And today I am going to give you a clear answer for a basic question that has been asked thousand times for me in my training. That is, is Python required for a DevOps engineer? Yes. If you are coming into the world of DevOps, you might be taking a lot of demos and you might be looking into a lot of different syllabus copies. One thing that will confuse you a bit is, should I learn Python or should I not learn Python? It's a million dollar question to be honest because it keeps you, you know, at a bay. Some people are going to tell you, hey, it's okay if you don't learn it. Some people will tell you, you know, it's better if you learn it, but what's the exact answer? Does it really help if you learn Python in your DevOps training? Does it matter if you learn DevOps, Python in your DevOps training? Will it be asked in the interview? Let's look into this details now. But before that, first let us understand why is Python basically required or how does it work or what it is? First and foremost, let us try to understand this. What is a day-to-day -day work of a DevOps engineer? What will you do uh, being a DevOps engineer in an organization? What's your role, right? You're not working just by yourself in the whole organization. You will be interacting with different teams, meaning you're going to work with developers, point number one. Then you will be a part of deployments, which is basically releasing new code into the deployment or testing some codes in staging or development setup. Point number three, you will be on call. Not all the cases, of course, it depends on the company, but you will be responsible for the pieces of infrastructure or automation, which also takes us to the point that you can be responsible for this 24 into seven or 12 into seven structure, et cetera. Point number four, you will do timely maintenance. The recent log4j vulnerability is a good example. If such kinds of vulnerabilities pop up, you will be called in to fix all of these issues. And who is better than a DevOps engineer to solve these problems, right? To summarize, this is something that you will be doing on you know, a day-to-day -day basis, right? But where does Python come into this? Let's look into it a bit more. And let's try to understand what it is. All of this, all of this setup that I just discussed with you, there is a key point that I have highlighted in the bottom, kindly observe. Either you're working with developers, either you're working in the deployment, you're on call or you're doing maintenance. You will be doing one thing in common always is debugging. So what is debugging? Let's, let's try to understand what is debugging. Let us say that your bike or a car broke. Broke in the sense it's not starting. You know, you do some kind of debugging. You try to check if there is some patrol or diesel is present, if there is any issues with uh, the kickstart or your self start, etc. Now, how did you know to do all of this? because you have seen these issues and you kind of are aware that some of this works, right? So a common form of debugging in the DevOps culture is to see what is wrong and try to fix it. If you're working with developers, they might come to you with certain issues, which might need some you know, inputs from you. They might be having certain errors that they might see. And if you're doing deployment, you might encounter all of a sudden uh, that the release is not going through and you might have to debug. If you're on call, you might be paged for some issues with your application where again, you have to debug. And if you're doing maintenance, needless to say, you will have to debug. So what does Python have to do with debugging, right? Well, that's the whole point. If you want to debug anything per se, that means, you should know at least one programming language because 
all of these people whom you are going to work with, they are going to work with certain program. They might be working with Java. They might be working with Node.js. They might be working with HTML. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you should know how to debug. What is an error? How do you look into the code? What are the basic things in this code? Well, to understand this, Python is the best way to understand debugging setup. That is, if you understand the Python, you understand one programming language, meaning when you write all of this code, you will encounter issues and you will debug. And that is what is required and expected out of a DevOps engineer. I hope you're following with me. Stay with me and I'm gonna give you more inputs. So what's basically the takeaway that we have now? But before I go there, if you're also one of the person who is wondering where to learn Python, especially for DevOps, then here is an awesome sale for you. I will be personally taking one-on-one -on -one Zoom session, which will have 10 to 13 sessions, 1.5 hours of each, completely hands-on. It is individual session. Like I said, it's just one-on-one -on -one session. It's just you and me practicing Python, uh, which is completely focused towards DevOps. It is flexible because again, it's one-on-one -on -one session. It is pay-as-you-go model, meaning we are going to break the fees into different payment structures. So again, it suits your requirement. If you refer this video to me, meaning if you have watched this section, and if you refer that you reached out to me from this video, I'm going to give you 50% off for this session, okay? Now, that's about the course. Let's go to back to Python. So what should I what should I know as a Python developer? Like, okay, I have to learn Python, maybe, yeah, but what should I learn? Wait, should I know Python? Well, I think by now you should know that Python is a must, in my opinion, to become a DevOps engineer, which means debugging skill is, is the must. And to understand the debugging skill, you can choose Python. There is no problem at all. So what should I learn from Python? Because using Python, you can do many things. You know that you can build websites, you can do data science, everything. So what should I know in terms of a DevOps engineer, purely as a DevOps engineer? Well, this is pretty easy in my opinion, and you only have to know these four th important things. That is data types, variables and declarations and data types that you see, point number one. Next, you need to know conditional statements and loops, uh, basics of Python modules, creating uh, custom modules and running and debugging your Python code. Only this much is what you have to concentrate. It is not very difficult for anyone. It's super easy and I believe everyone can do this. So my simple answer to you is, if you are picking or trying to become a DevOps engineer, Python is a must for you in terms of making sure that you can land a job as a DevOps engineer. The next question that will arise is, I have already started a training and or my course is not having Python as a, uh, in the training, what should I do? Well, don't panic, first step. That's fine if they are not offering you a training, uh, they're not offering you Python in the training. It's totally fine if that course doesn't have Python as a part of their DevOps training. That is because one place or one person cannot teach you everything. Even if they try to teach you this, you have to understand that the course would prolong, making it difficult for you probably at the end to get a job. So it's totally fine. So don't panic, it's okay. Well, if you are looking into the course as of today, then I would say that ask this question that I want to learn Python, what should I do? If they are not teaching you this, it's okay. Evaluate them for the other content that they're teaching. You add a top up for your course from the same institute, same place, or other online course vendors and add a top up, that is add Python as a top up of your DevOps course. Spend 30 minutes a day learning Python, or you can also join with me to learn Python one-on-one -on -one with me, code with me. That will give you enough advantage. And last but not the least, 
just attending any course or any video will not help you the focus always has to be on practicing python or practicing any technology that you are learning i hope this has answered your thoughts the final verdict in my opinion is you must know the basics of python to become a devops engineer or a successful devops engineer after you start working and hence i would suggest you to take any python sessions during after your or before your devops course let me remind you pretty quickly about my python for devops course which is one on one session 10 to 30 in different sessions and if you want the session to work with me one on one again completely zoom call it's just you and me writing python code understanding python then you can email me to this email id that you see on the screen that is awslearning1992@gmail.com i hope this video has given you a clarity and the answer that you have been looking for if you have liked this video then please don't forget to subscribe i do publish a video every day one video at least and you will get a lot of devops information throughout this video and throughout this in this channel thank you and speak to you guys soon